Welcome to Bramit Hall, bulwark of traditional British mechanical prowess and mecca for the international do-it-yourself set. For here lives one of Britain's most renowned and reactionary military engineers, Colonel Archibald Gramit, Pioneer Corps, retired. The entire household has benefited from his ingenuity and he supervises its smooth running from his personally designed rocking chair. Note, for example, the combined Gramit tea and cat cosy, which maintains a flow of sustaining beverage for the Colonel, as well as come. Here too is the Gramit answer to television, a unique collection of magic lantern slides of life in the Khyber Pass. Performance is continuous, except for minor transmission problems. Let us now move to the upper stories. In the bedroom above is the Colonel's lady, also very much retired. She has the inestimable benefit of the Grummet Bellows bed warming and ventilation system. Indeed, she's been provided with every possible convenience. So much so that she hasn't moved from this room for the last five years. The Colonel has also provided her with yet another of his inimitable developments, a genuine reading lamp. In the attic is the powerhouse of the Grummet establishment. Aunt Agatha, an indomitable old lady, though her once-a-week meal break seriously inconvenienced the rest of the household. But without her incessant peddling, the whole Grummet household would founder. Now let us continue our tour by visiting the Grummet bathroom and recreation centre. Brother Cedric has been provided with a genuine roller towel, though he can only escape by waiting for one of Aunt Agatha's meal breaks. Note two, the judiciously placed blow lamp for the provision of hot water for the shower. And what a shower. Maud, the au pair girl, is the idol of all the window cleaners and the most idle of all the household staff. Maud is frequently being invited into the garden and usually accepts. The Grammit Lou was specially designed for people who don't know whether they're coming or going. On then to the kitchen, where the Grammit genius is perhaps most fully expressed. The kettle not only provides hot water for the Colonel's tea, but also works the standby generator. Here too we find the Colonel's original and genuine air scrubber. The ventilation system is another Grammit patent. But there's no feather bedding the staff. Uh, this is largely because all the feathers have been used for house insulation. Finally, in the kitchen, the Grummet hot water system and unique waste disposal unit. The local vicar has become permanently attached to the household, providing moral uplift and being provided with physical uplift in return. This, then, is Grummet Hall. completely insulated, air-conditioned, fully mechanised and electrocuted ideal of modern living. Britain can still do it.